Sometimes when we make an image, we also need to have that specific image for another social media platform. Now, I don't expect you to recreate a design for each and every social media platform from scratch and neither does Canva. So Canva has an amazing feature which says resize. So using resize, you would be able to simply click on a button and resize your image to whichever platform you want. Like for example, this is an Instagram post. You want to resize it to maybe an Instagram story. You select Instagram story and uh, you say try it for free 30 days, right? No, wrong. So this course, as I mentioned, is not something which is related with the pro edition of Canva. Now I want to show you how to do the same thing for free and that is what I'm going to show you in this particular lesson. So to change the size of your design, I don't want you to recreate anything. You simply go back into the home page and consider you're making uh, the same design for a WhatsApp story. You simply go into create a design and uh, type in story here and you would be able to uh, select the WhatsApp story here. The WhatsApp story canvas will open up and then you need to do something which is very simple. What you need to do is go back into the design that you have created, select the mouse pointer, okay? So this one, so when you are just clicking on the canvas, outside the canvas with your mouse, you can get this uh, grid line, you can get this box, which is a free flowing box. You resize it wherever you want and however you want. You need to use that box and select all the elements which are within the post that you want to replicate, okay? Once you have done that, you need to press Ctrl C on your keyboard, which is for copying. So you select the elements on the particular post, press Ctrl C on your keyboard and go back to the design that you have for your WhatsApp story. Click on the canvas once and press Ctrl V, which is for pasting and automatically all your elements will come back on this particular WhatsApp story. Now, the problem here is that the alignment is a bit off. So what you need to do is do not press anywhere outside your canvas. Let all the elements be selected. And while it is selected, simply take your mouse and arrange it so that it meets your primary criteria for the image so let's arrange it here and then drag it into the size like this and now what you need to do is you need to rearrange a couple of things like the text you need to rearrange it properly again the guidelines will come up from Canva so simply arrange it in a much better way maybe you can rearrange the buttons and put it in the center so that we use the center space for something this time because uh, previously in the Instagram post we didn't have the center space that's why we didn't use it but now we have a center space uh, we can use it look shabby so I will reduce the size and move it down itself and what I'm planning to do is uh, maybe take the lady along with the mask now you would have uh, remembered in my previous lesson, I had removed the strings of the mask using small elements, right? So if I simply move the mask, the strings will start appearing back again. So we need to be a little smart over here. And we will again use the same trick that I showed you earlier by using the mouse arrow, make the box, click the mouse on the canvas and select all the elements from the face to the bottom and you would notice that the wave is also getting selected. So what you need to do is you simply need to click on the shift button once, keep it pressed, click on the wave and then release the shift button and your mouse uh, button. So this would uncheck the wave and only keep the mask, the other white elements to cover the string and the lady selected. Here you would now increase the size of the lady 
so that uh, the image looks better and let's position it somewhere here okay so this is good let me make it a little more bigger and done all right but there is a slight challenge the challenge which i see is that the background of this image is not gelling with the background of the uh, lady and the character so i need to change the background we had used a light blue background in our instagram photo or image so we'll use a light blue background here as well so let's do that now the background is better so now your design is resized and it is styled for the whatsapp story again uh, one thing that i think we need to fix is we need to center align the buttons over here and make it a little bigger and center this align and now i think we are ready for it to go on the whatsapp story as well now all of this was done for free without going on the canva pro version so what i'm trying to say is you can do a lot using just the free version and this is how you can do the resizing of your designs using the free version on canva thank you for viewing and i'll see you in the next lesson if you want to learn about many such features available on canva then don't forget to join my canva masterclass course available at a discounted price check out the link in the description down below and you would be able to learn about the resizing along with multiple other advanced features on canva and how to use them for free using the canva.com platform so don't forget to enroll on the canva masterclass course using the link in the description down below and become a master in using canva and maybe turn yourself into a freelance designer and make some extra money on the side